Hey, what's up everybody? Proper here, and today a new Cobra Kai Season 2 trailer just dropped, and I could not be more excited about this. The last time we saw any footage was a couple of sneak peeks. We had Johnny over at Cobra Kai disciplining Miguel and Hawk for their behavior at the tournament. There was a clip from Miyagi-Do Karate with Daniel and... I forget his character's name. Shoot. Improper! <laughs> And if you'd like to check out my reaction to the teaser trailer, the link will be in the description. And without further ado, here we go. All right. All right, save the clip from the end of season one. But the real story's only just begun. I thought you were dead. Cobra Kai never dies. All right, so there's a fight that goes the on in the tournament. At the beginning. Ways to destroy Cobra Kai. That opening your window, Joe. Make sure you can balance that. Balance is my thing. Ooh. It's all about the balance. We got some new recruits. Cobras, show them what real karate looks like. Oh, so they're throwing like some sort of show. Brainwashing half the school. That's why I'm opening up Miyagi Do. Brainwashing half the school, huh? From a certain point of view, I suppose. You got room for one more? Someday the fight may come to you. And I want to make sure you're ready. That's actually really awesome that Sam is joining Miyagi Do. It just makes sense. Something tells me there's a can of wax in my future. It's. <laughs> of course there is. What did you expect? <laughs> Which one of you has the balls to take on the champ? Oh, the girl has the balls. Oh. A new romance. With a lie. with a lie. Do you have a crush? Is it Robbie? The fight is only over when you say it is. Hmm. Let's face the fight. Ooh. That's and then Dimitri getting to it. We need to talk. I want you to hang in my kids' heads. Same lessons I taught you. Strike first. Strike hard. No. So, it seems I that... It seems like Priest will be taking his, taking Johnny students into his own hands and probably screwing things up and Johnny's relapsing the beach. And... So this gets really intense. They fight! Oh my gosh! Wow! So there's a lot to unpack here, so I'll start up with the new characters. There are some obvious romances that are just kind of thrown in there. Miguel has Tori. Maybe she's gonna be a horrible influence on him and turn Miguel, you know, more over to the dark side, if you will. And then you had Robbie and Sam, which we already got to see in the first season. I just hope it's not a big waste of time or anything. On the one hand, it's really nice that they're continuing to evolve the newer characters that they had in the first season and also introduce some more new characters. But since it's not like a Star Wars situation where you didn't have the initial new characters in the first episode, be further developed in the second and then introducing new characters and just making a mess out of it and not having uh, the proper amount of character development. In this case, we're totally fine here. Miguel is already well established. Hawk, Hawk kind of came out of nowhere and was just like, I'm flipping the script. And what's great about that first sneak peek is you get to see that vulnerability come back like you saw in the episode where he is first introduced. So that's a very nice callback to that and shows that he is still intimidated by people getting mad at him or by bullies. The Hawk is sort of his protection, if you will. And I also thought it was really cool that Hawk and Dimitri are going to end up fighting. And it seems that Dimitri was the odd man out. Dimitri was the one who was sort of the geeky guy who was not wanting to fight. So when Hawk and Dimitri are fighting, I don't exactly know what the circumstances are, but I think it would be very interesting if Dimitri decided to join, not Cobra Kai, but what if he joined Miyagi-Do? He also complained in the first season that he got beaten up by Johnny and he took his money. So I guess from his perspective, he's paying somebody to beat him up? Doesn't really make sense to me. And considering that Daniel LaRusso is opening up Miyagi-Do for free, that would lead me to believe that Dimitri has the potential to join Cobra Kai. <laughs> 
Oops. Improper! <laughs> Now let's talk about Daniel and Sam. They're probably gonna have some sort of father-daughter conflict, which is inevitable, but it seems as though that she's going to be taught exactly what Robbie has been taught, if she hadn't already in her childhood, as we saw from a flashback. It's kind of nice that she has come around to the idea of Daniel being her sensei again. It's a nice way to encourage his teaching. Plus, I really like that car. Wax on, wax off. Now let's talk about the relationship between John Kreese and Johnny Lawrence. The last time that we saw these two characters together was when Kreese broke the trophy in front of Johnny and tried to choke him to death. And he even slapped one guy in the face. Let him go. <laughs> Improper. <laughs> And considering that Kreese was Johnny Lawrence's, basically his surrogate father, I mean, this had to have been heartbreaking for him. If you remember in season one, Johnny says that John Kreese had passed away. But you have to consider the fact that perhaps Johnny wasn't talking about Kreese actually being dead, maybe just that he was dead to him after this incident. I mean, look what's happening right now. I mean, Jesus. And let's take a second to look back at the season one finale of Cobra Kai. In particular, I'd like to focus on Johnny's expression and the way that he reacts when seeing John Kreese for the first time in God knows how long. He's very surprised. It's a little bit shocking to him, and his lips kind of tighten up. And then pay attention to the corner of his mouth. He wants to say something. He's just not entirely sure what the words will be, what will come out, and once it's revealed that it is indeed John Kreese. I mean, just look at his reaction. There's so much pain behind that face, so much anger. I mean, it's amazing. And based on that alone, I can guess that there's going to be a really, really big fight that happens between those two. A huge disagreement about everything that has happened before. And when you look at that first sneak peek with the scene where he disciplines Miguel and Hawk, it seems as though that he was internalizing a lot of what Kreese had said and was really upset by it. And, you know, I mean, it looked like he threw a party at the dojo. At least it's what the students thought. I mean, seriously, why would you be throwing glass like that though? Destroying your own dojo. Is that their way of having like a big rave party? I have no idea. Plus, who would Johnny even be hanging out with to begin with? He doesn't really have any friends, so who, who would he party with? You know what, I'm just overthinking this. One of my least favorite parts of season one was whenever Daniel and his wife had some sort of argument. I mean, it's just annoying. I wish they would do something else. Maybe Daniel wins an argument every now and then, but whatever. Also, another thing I didn't like about season one was Daniel's stupid son. His son was just annoying. Dad, where the hell is my drink? Hurry up. Seems like you raised a spoiled Encino brat. You know what? I'm gonna throw him in the goddamn pool. Pretty much sums that up. But to improve that character, it'd be kind of nice if we got to see him getting his ass whooped. That would be amazing. The audience would love it, especially because, I mean, Let's just face it, nobody liked that character at all. And also he wasn't in it that much, so I think it'd be interesting if Daniel's son actually joined Cobra Kai. Perhaps that's a season three thing. We're probably not gonna get that much from him either way, but that's okay. The less of him, the better. And of course, let's talk about Daniel and Johnny duking it out. And I could not be more excited about it. It's like the rematch that we wanted in season one, but didn't quite get, and they were holding off until season two. Great idea. I don't know when it's going to come in, but I'm really excited about that. I'm wondering if Johnny is going to end up becoming victorious in this. I mean, anything could happen. I think that it's just going to end in a stalemate again, and we're going to have to wait again another year to see a proper fight, a proper conclusion. But that is just my prediction. And uh, aside from all that, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'm very excited about this. They gave us just enough information where we can speculate, but not have everything totally ruined. Not spoiling everything is great, but we have a good idea of the direction that they're going. And so far, I like what I see. These writers are very good at what they're doing, and they obviously know these characters very well. It seems like they know what they're doing, so that's a good thing. Cobra Kai has not let me down yet, and hopefully it will not be a Karate Kid Part 2 equivalent. But anyways, I want to get your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and even leave a dislike if you didn't like it. You know, my feelings won't be hurt. But anyways, thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day.